Hello everyone, this is Tuesday, August 30th, can you believe it, almost the end of August, August 30th, 20 degrees out, still, still pretty nice out, and it is noon hour, almost noon, 11, 1140 or something, it's almost noon, okay, so, here we are, almost the end of summer. We got three weeks left, and it will be fall. Burr, but we might have a long, warm fall yet, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna panic too quickly here, because I think we're in for a warm fall. The warm weather's hanging in here pretty good, so I think we're gonna be okay for a while. Had a couple of days off there. I didn't do too much, and made a video of the fireworks on on uh, Saturday, 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 Sunday, Saturday. I think it was Saturday. Made a video of the fireworks, and uh, that was my last video. So I'm back out today. Today being Tuesday, I had a few days off. So back up today. And we'll see where my feet take me. I started out kind of downtown, just just up a little bit, but not much. And we're heading for the North End, I guess. Since I've been doing some North End stuff there lately, I might as well stick with that theme and do a few more neighborhoods in the north end. How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? We had a busy one. It was it went by really fast. And this weekend's got this coming weekend is a long weekend. This is this is it. I think it's late, they call it Labor Day weekend. This is it. This is like when the kids are going back to school. Summer's over. <laughs> oh, we got another three ways. Come on. Let's hang in there. We'll get some more good weather yet. Anyways, I thought I'd take a look at this uh, Cogswell interchange down here and see how that's shaping up. Haven't been down here for a while. I'll keep you, keep you up to speed on this Cogswell thing because it's nice to know how it's coming along. Might get a bit noisy right here. Would I lie? No. It's funny right after I said it might get noisy. There was that... Uh, sign said noisy. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get through here. I think it's a dead end right now. No pedestrian access in either direction, I don't believe. So all we can do is walk out here to the end of it and probably have to turn around. Because you can't get through here. Buildings are really creeping up there. Just uh, condo uh, apartments and, and uh, a hotel in that building. And the other one is up there just on Goddage. And I'm not sure what it's going to be. So we can't go anywhere. But look, they tore up the street. Yeah, it does not look a thing like it used to. Man, this place is uh, it's really changed. Okay. So I gotta go back to the end of the street or somewhere so I can change direction because I can't go up to him. It's all closed off. I didn't know that. But now I do. I didn't know that. But there it is. So we'll walk back to wherever we gotta go to change our direction. 
So I don't know if this is going to stay like a, a dead end road or if it's going to be open back up. We'll have to wait and see about that one. Don't really know. I just came from Scotia Square a few minutes ago. This is like the back end of it right here, the parking garage and the Hotel Halifax. You can walk right from the hotel right into Scotia Square if you stay in there. You can actually get on the pedway and go a lot of places. If you're adventurous and want to try it. So I got to walk back and re retrace my steps because I didn't know this was a dead end road. Can't go out that way. Well, that's all right. I'm making my way up to the north end anyways. I thought I would come this way and have a look at the Cogswell area there, but that didn't work out real well. See what have I got on here so far? Oh, I'm only uh, looked like eight minutes or something into the video, so I didn't waste a lot of time. Well, it wasn't a waste. At least we took a walk down. There's part of the pedway right there. We can walk down through. If it's cold in the winter time, don't want to go out in the snow. You can walk that way. Bank Center right in front of me where the Mooseheads play hockey and all that stuff. Hey, did you enjoy the video about the Stanley Cup? Was that fun? I understand it's going to be in a few cities where it already has and been in a, in a few. So you may see it in, I don't know, Toronto. Uh, I'm not sure where all it's going. So you may see that, a few more videos popping up yet about the Stanley Cup parades. But we had fun here that night. Wow, that was that was like so exciting. The Maritimes has always been a hockey place. Man, as a kid growing up, it was hockey. You got to school, you talked hockey. And we, I remember, it, I, was, I was around back when we had six teams. And most of Atlantic Canada was split between Toronto and Montreal. And so if you came from the French side, you were rooting for Montreal. If you're English side, you were rooting for Toronto. But sometimes it would change. Some, some English also went for Montreal. But that was how it was growing up. It was, it was hockey, it was a hockey world. And there is Citadel Hill again, which I'm not going there today because it's real windy out. As long as I can stay in the right spot, you're probably hearing a bit of wind right now. Because I just came out in the open. It was stop blocking my view, blocking my, my, my wind. And it helped. But now, but if I go down this way, I'll probably steer clear of the wind. Well, that's my plan. We'll go this way. This is just one street up from the one that was blocked. Couldn't get out, couldn't get the other one, so we'll take this one. It'll be all the same thing. Now, would I lie to you? No. I didn't lie about the noise, because I had the proof of the sign. <laughs> so there you go. All right. We will make our way. I know what I'll do today. I have to get back home at a decent hour. So, 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make myself end up on North Street by the bridge. And then that way, I can get the bus right there and get back home. I won't have to inconvenience myself too much. It'll save me time for getting back home. I can catch my bus right there coming on the bridge and it'll take me right to the end of my street. And then it's just a small walk home. So that works pretty good for me. Yes. You will recognize where we was before I get down here. There's that same hotel that's going up and condo, build, condo apartments, one or the other, and a hotel. Right there, we looked at that from the other street, but it looks a little bit different right here from the, the street. This is Brunswick Street I'm on. But I'm not gonna go straight down Brunswick because that would take me to my spot where I'm gonna end up to catch the bus. And that would only take about 15 minutes, so we can't go that way. So I, I walked Brunswick Street a few times before. And we gotta make a longer video showing some stuff going on here. On this, the 30th. day of August. Can you believe? Can you believe it? 30th of August. The summer is almost gone. But it was a great summer. We had a, we had a really nice summer. It was warm a lot of days. Some days it wasn't too high. We had a few hot scorchers, but for the most part, the day, it was pretty good. Um, we will see what the winter brings forth. It was good last winter, it wasn't bad, except we had a couple of really big storms. And I was out doing a video on one, I don't know if you've seen it or not. The wind was blowing hard that day, but I stayed out in it anyways. And they even took the buses off the street and I still stayed out in it. So I dedicated to my cause, okay. Well, it really is exciting to see all this construction going on out here. Oh, I love it. I love it when I see these tall buildings going up. And watch our city grow. It's really great. I'm gonna walk down maybe a bit of Gottingen again today. I got, a, I got a woman mad at me last time when I walked down there. I'm going to go right here and look down this construction spot. This won't be in anybody's way. This is where I was down there, at that, where that building is with the McDonald's sign there. That's where I was when it was a, a dead end road. I couldn't get out. And this used to be our, one of our main streets right here. <laughs> it don't look like it now, does it? Oh, well, this is progress. You have to... You have to tear stuff down before you can build it up. So we're in the tearing apart stage right now. And tearing down these ugly ramps and stuff that we don't need. Downtown is going to be absolutely beautiful when this, when this project is done, but it's going to take a while. I think it was like a three-year project or something like that just to, just to get it all done. But it will be real, be really worth it when it's when it's finally over and it's all finished. So here we are on Cogswell and Brunswick, which I'm going to cross over to to Cogswell, uh, to, to Bruns to I'm on Brunswick and Cogswell. I'm going to go across this intersection and go up Cogswell. Cogswell and then take Gottingen. There, I'll get it out eventually. I can stand right out in the middle of the street now because there's no traffic. <laughs> Couldn't do that before.
Okay, let's go up and take some some of Gotti's in and then we'll get into the neighborhoods up there. All right, I got 15 minutes used up. I haven't done a whole lot yet, but that's okay. I erased some of my old stuff I didn't need anymore, so I freed up some space. You have to watch that. Sometimes I forgot to erase my phone before I went out and get, tried to make a video and then I ran out of space. But not today, I erased everything and starting over afresh. So I should have no trouble with making a video today. Remember those? <laughs> It might get noisy up here too. So I'm not gonna talk any further until I get past all this noise, okay? at it from up here, looking down the street, looking down toward downtown, and looking at this building right here, of course, and we'll keep on going. Wow, that one's even getting closed in now on the side, the windows are in, wow, that's coming right along. I love seeing all this construction, it just looks so good. Even better when it's finished, but it's exciting to see it going up. As I started to say before there, uh, last time I walked on guys, and if you saw that video, I got a young woman mad at me. She said, you didn't want to be in my video. And, but I don't understand how she said she could see herself in my video because the only way she could be in my video, she'd have to be standing in front of my lens. And if you're standing in front of the lens, you can't see what's on the screen. So if you can see the screen, you're not in the video. So I don't understand how she said, I said, I don't know if I'm in there or not. She said, oh yeah, I saw myself in there. But I don't believe her, I don't think she did. But because she was so irate at me, I decided to leave her in there. <laughs> so, she's, so she's on the video. Oh well, well hope I don't run into her again today. That wouldn't be very good. That'd be bad luck if I run into her again today. All right, so now we're on Goddard just on the, um, see the southern end, southern end of the island, I guess you could say. And this is the Seven Bays Cafe. I used to go there all the time, but I haven't been there for a little while. Might have to go soon again. I visit there. I used to go all the time. Back in the winter time is when I used to go the most. But by the time I get up here, it'd be cold out. So I'd always stop in there.
And that is the Salvation Army Men's Hostel right over there. And where people who are homeless can go or maybe to eat. Or some maybe stay there, maybe some just eat. I'm not sure. But, but there's always a, a good crowd around there when they come by. This kind of paint job. Last time I walked by here, there was a mural on the side of that wall right there. It's gone now. Well, I guess it's been around quite a while. So they thought they'd make a change. So we're going down. We're going down Gotti Gym. I don't know how far I'll go. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll Maybe we'll get off it right here. I might come back on it again. But let's just jump off here. All right. And we'll walk up Falkland. Falkland and Geyser. We'll go up Falkland Street. You like neighborhoods. I heard a lot of people commenting on how I've been doing little neighborhoods. And I've got a lot of comments from people saying they, they really like to see these neighborhoods. So. This one's in the north end as well. And it's just, as you start down Gottage and if you come up the hill by Staples and, and you go down Gottage and this is the first street on the left. Just so you'll know if you're from Halifax or used to live here at one time and now maybe you're moved away or something just so you can get your bearings there and, and know where you were, know where I'm walking. Okay, on Falkland Street. Heading west, near as I can determine. Since Goddagen goes north and south, this one must be going west. Really nice little neighborhood right here. The buildings all look really nice and the streets are, the streets are just, just pure beauty, these streets. Don't you agree? They are, they're beautiful. Love this little neighborhood right here. This is a beautiful, beautiful part of the city. I'm on Creighton right now at the moment. I'm not gonna go all the way up Creighton because I wanna, continue on up Falkland. We just came up this way a little bit. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll wind up on it again at some point. Don't you see the, the beauty in this street? It really is nice. All these houses, beautiful. I like those windows right there. It's such a, such a, such a beautiful neighborhood. You can really get it when I'm walking down the sidewalk here. The houses are all close together and the, and the sidewalks are narrow. And just, it's just everything about it. Like it shows beauty, shows neighborhood. I don't know anybody here, so I can't say how friendly it is, but it looks like the type of place that would be friendly. You might get to know your neighbors if you lived here. You tell me when you see this video, if you think this is a beautiful neighborhood. Whoops, sorry. If you think this is a, a nice neighborhood, I think it is. I think it's just really great. All the different colored houses on these streets. It's like every house is painted a different color. And just look back down the street here. That one's just got a renovation. Wow, looks good too. What color is that? I'm not sure. Got a yellow door. 
some colors. I'm not so sure. Look at that one over there. It's white and it got a pink door. I know they like to paint the doors here, don't they? The doors are all different colors too, look. This is beautiful. It's gotta be one of the treasured neighborhoods in, in all of Halifax. This end of Goddard with the side streets here. It's it's a it's a beauty it's a it's a sight to behold. Look at it. You got just like gray shingles on that one. Then you got more shingles on this one, but green. A lot of them have shingles. This one has shingles. I think it's gray. But sometimes I say something gray and then somebody say, oh it's blue. So I think it's gray. You ever have that happen? You think something's a certain color and and somebody will say, no, that's not the color of that. Oh, yeah, anyway, that happens to me quite often. Look at them. Everyone's got a different color door than the houses. This is wonderful. I would love to live right here, right here. This is where I would pick my pick of places to live in Halifax. Somebody asked me, on one of my comments when I was reading it this morning, where was a good place to live and, and bring up kids? And I tried my best to think of the good neighborhoods. And I said, Bedford's, Bedford's nice, Clayton Park, Fairview, all this kind of stuff. I live in Dartmouth, but if I ever move, I wouldn't mind coming to this area right there. Okay, let's cross the street and we'll go down the sidewalk from over here. Okay, let's go this way. What do you think? This is, uh, the street has changed its name. It is now Maynard Street. If, if you go, I don't know, Cogswell that way, Maynard this way, okay. So it says, I didn't think it was, but it could be. It might have changed somehow. Or do something. Anyways, we'll walk on down the sidewalk here. Look at that. Nice little parking spot out of the element. Well, this is beautiful. This is just getting into the north end, just as you, like I said, come up past Staples and go down Goddard and, and, the, and the streets you first come to right there. That's, that's the neighborhood I'm in. Beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. If you ever come to Halifax and you want to just look at these, you got to come up to this area and, and, and walk around up here. It is really nice. It's not all residential. There are some stores, but not on this particular street, but there are some shops and stuff up here. We'll go a little farther and we'll come to Agricola, and then it's got lots of stores up there on Agricola Street. So this is where we first came up on Falkland. And then I turned on to Maynard. That's what happened. That's the way I got on to Maynard Street. I, I, made a, I made a right right here instead of going straight on up. But we're, now we're gonna continue on Maynard Street. For a bit. Not sure just how far we'll go, but so anyways, I hope you're enjoying this little walk around the north end here today and there's a lot more to see yet. I'm gonna show you lots of uh, Beautiful houses on these streets here. It's kind of cloudy day today. Not, not, not cold though. It's warm enough. You start walking around, carrying a backpack, 
it's warm, but it's a beautiful day to walk around here. It really is. I love it. I can't, I can't see it. Find any better conditions than this. And you know what? When you're up in this area, it's, you're always out of the wind. I noticed any time I walk around up here, the houses are so close to the street that you're protected from the wind. All right, now I'm back over to North Street, I would say. This would be, no, no, not no street yet. I, I will let you know um, what it is, okay? Because I don't know the name of every, every street up there. And I have a noisy truck beside me. a nice paint job on the front of that. It's a, it's a, I, maybe an art place, maybe. I'm not sure. So, let me see. Try to get my, my bearings here. All right, so what we will do, we'll go We'll go up, we'll go across the street and we'll go up another street and see where we end up here. Yeah, I'm not on North Street, I'm on, um, I think that's the street back, but that's okay. Let's go up this way, which is, that was Mano Street going that way. I'm just trying to tell you your streets, but there's no street sign here. Um, I know it's not North Street. It's it's one before that or something like that. So, okay. Mm. Nice old brick building right there. Well, that was a service station at one time, but it's long since changed from that purpose. Oh, look at this. I haven't been up here for a while. They built a big patio area outside that spot right there. Wow, I didn't even see this before. First time. First time I ever saw that. Turned a service station into a bar or a restaurant or something like that. We made a big patio out here. Wow, that's pretty good. They made a lot of seating out here. I guess it's something that's just open in the summer, maybe. That's the old armory building in there. I don't know what they do with it. They probably do something. But he worked on it for a long time, trying to renovate it, make it look better. I don't think they're done yet, but maybe. Maybe they are. They could be, could be done with it now. Don't see the plastic tight around here anymore and none of that stuff. Could be done with it. We try to give you a good clear picture of this from out here where you can get a good look at it. And that is the Halifax Common up here, but we're not gonna do that today. 
We're gonna stick around this neighborhood right here. I'm gonna, this is a, a roundabout right here. And I think they call it Cogswell Roundabout too, I think. And there goes one of the tour buses. Okay, I'm gonna stand right here and show you this armories. That was all covered in for quite a while and with plastic and, and scaffolding and stuff. But now it looks like the work has been completed or nearly. There's a little bit more scaffolding over there, but it looks really good. They did a lot of work on this building. Try to breathe new life into this old armory building. I don't know the date on it, but we may see one somewhere. If I see a date, I'll pass it on to you folks, okay? So, there we are, the armories. At the Cogswell Roundabout. Okay, so, if you want Agricola Street, it's over there. You want Canary Street is down here. I'll just walk down here first and show you what's, apparently they're not quite done yet. They're still renovating. They were renovating this when we came here four years ago and they're still renovating. So I'm not gonna go that way because I'd have to go through the little walkway and we'll see what we can find out about this. The federal government built this impressive drill hall between 1895 and 1899. This was for the soldiers to, to drill, I guess. It is, okay, it is planned and fully equipped training center. It was substantially larger than most earlier drill halls and boasts such features as an indoor shooting gallery, lecture rooms, the robust Dial suggests of the medieval fortress shows the influence of chief architect Thomas Fuller. Its bold imagery and sophisticated plan perfectly captured the spirit of the militia reform and influences Canadian drill hall design for several decades. Built in 1895. Wow, to 1899, it took that long to build it. Pretty impressive. Looks like a British castle. But it is indeed the armories. So we'll go down here a little bit and then we'll cross over and come back up that side and then we'll go down by the roundabout and, and go down Agricola. Okay, that sound like a good idea? It does, okay. So I don't want to go all the way down to Gottage Inn because I was already on Gottage Inn. So we're going to cross right here and go up to the roundabout and get on Agricola. We'll walk down that and then we'll see after that where we're going to go. It depends on how the time's going here. I've been doing this now for 38 minutes. So we'll continue on. I don't want to cheat you. I don't want to chip you here. So we're going to give you a good Good. I try, I try to make them about an hour. <clears throat> if I go too long, then they get boring. If you do too short, then maybe somebody will say, why didn't you make it a little bit longer? So, yeah, that's what I like. I like videos that go about an hour, but 45 minutes is all right, too. So we'll see. But I might be able to give you an hour up here. Anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful buildings in this area. Now this is the roundabout right here. So there's where we came from that direction before. And now we are walking. Hmm, I don't want to tell it wrong. I believe we are walking north, yes, because Agricola runs the same as, as uh, Gardigen. So. We're on Agricola Street, walking north. Here we go, as I told you, some of, there are businesses up in this neighborhood. Agricola is a street that's part businesses and part residential. 
So yeah, it's not uncommon to see a apartment building and next to it there could be a cafe on the sidewalk. I'm always so curious to hear about I don't know. There we go. I won't walk right through those people's uh, dining, so I'm going to cross the street. I always try to be mindful of people around me and don't, don't, don't be a pain to people. Just kind of show what they're doing without being in their face. Yeah, that's the idea. There, now we're over on the, it is residential, but there are cafes along here. There's an out, the out one, the first one we came to right there, outdoor cafe. And I'll tell you the address of that. 2347 Agricola, the Cafe Lara. Been there, I noticed it last summer. It's just been there a while. The Cafe Lara, and it looks very popular because it's always got a nice, crowd of people out there and so that's one of the nice nice spots in this area to go to just give me a little bit of a, a look around and we'll continue on Look, even across the street here, there's two buildings that's almost the same color, but yet they're still not quite the same color. I love it, I love it. Now every, everything's just like a slightly little different color from the one beside it. Mm. Okay, before we continue on down the Gricola, We're gonna take a walk down Harris, Harris Street. Well, we're still, we're still in the neighborhood. So, so why not, right? There we go, we'll come back up. We'll get, on, we'll get back on the Greek Lake in. There we go. A nice, nice, beautiful street, Harris Street, which is part of the same neighborhood. I say anything up to North Street, which I, was, I thought it was there before, but it wasn't. I'll know when I'm at North Street. It looks a certain way, and that didn't look right when I got up there. So I don't know what street that was because there was no signage. My biggest complaint with Halifax, they don't put street signs up everywhere. You're just supposed to know. Well, I bet he didn't like that. <laughs> nice big dent in the back of the tailgate. Mm. Speaking of cars, our car has turned out to be a nightmare. We are still fixing. Fix, 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 that's what it is. And as many expensive fixes as we have done, we're still doing them. So we're thinking about maybe maybe checking out some dealerships see what we can find we're getting this thing one last one last fix i have to get done on friday ah and hopefully it'll last long enough to uh look at some other vehicles this car has just been a nightmare we never had a car that bad it's a shaft tracks don't ever buy one if you're if you're a current owner of a Chef Trax, you know what I'm talking about. There's a garage right there. I didn't know about Mr. Otto. Yeah, that might be worth uh, checking out. I've already got my appointment made now at a, at a garage. But this guy here might be good too. Looks like he probably would be. Complete auto service and sales. Import domestic. Well, I wish I would have saw that before I would have come right up, right up here and talked to him, see if I could get in there this week. But I didn't know about it. He's on the corner of Maynard 
and Buddy Day. Not Buddy Guy, but Buddy Day. Maynard and Buddy Day. And there's that scratch. I got to remember that. And if it's good, I'll give him a good, I'll give him a good name if it's good. Okay? If it's bad, beware. <laughs> beware, you mechanics who don't treat me right. Yeah, there's one such. I'm not, I haven't named them yet. <laughs> I don't want to name them. I have a reason why I don't want to name them. But I mentioned it in one of my previous videos that they have two, two different locations. They might have more. They got at least two. We went to one. They told us you need to change your front brake pads because they're getting right down there. There's not much left. So I tried to make an appointment to go there to change my brake pads and they couldn't accommodate me because they, they were booked up for a while. So we decided to call the other place that belonged to the same company. And so that's what we did. We called there and made an appointment and they said they could take us right in. I think it was on a Friday. So I said, okay. So I was right over there bright and early that morning told the guy what I wanted, come in to get my, my new brake pads put on. Well, he calls me up on my phone after about an hour, says we had it up on the hoist, we took the wheels off, and your, your brakes are, the brake pads are still good, about 80%. Now, first of all, how could, how could one mechanic think they were worn out and the second one says, there's 80% left on it. But then he says, you need rotors. Your rotors are scarred up pretty bad. You need rotors. So I said, I don't want rotors. I want, I, I want to change brake pads, but if you don't want to change them, then no. And he charged me $75 for looking at them, which he may or may not have had it up on the hoist because I can look right in through the wheels and see them. Like, how would I know, right? If he, he could have just, it didn't look like they was trying to help me. It looked more like they were trying to take my money. So there you go. I gave up on those places. I'm not going there ever again, so. Good, honest mechanics are hard to find. They really are. Now I gotta say, the place in the south end that I go to is, is good. They, they know how to fix your car, they know how to diagnose it and fix it. And, and I can't really complain about that. All right, I'm up at West Street and, and Agricola, still on Agricola. Let's, I just think of where I should go from here. Go across to go across the intersection at least. Then maybe we'll walk back down towards Maynard. And my video is getting up here now in minutes. So we make our way down towards where the where I'm gonna catch the, the bus. We'll go down to Maynard. You see it looking right at the Legion there that's in on On Baynard and on West West Street. West Street heading towards Maynard. This is the street I came to. My wife had some big boxes the other day. She'd taken up a flight of stairs. I came down here and gave her a hand. But it was up that way. It was a building up that way on on West Street. Maynard Legion, that's I used to play there a long time ago. But I, I, in case you don't know, I play guitar and I played. I played in different groups, and, and right now I, I'm I'm playing by myself. Too, so I don't know anybody to play music with right now. So I'm in. I'm in. Uh, and then COVID came along after we just moved here, and so yeah, I'm just practicing in the bedroom. But anyways, 
I used to play there a long time ago. That was one of our spots. I had good, good memories of that. That was a nice place. It was fun. We had a nice little group going then. All friendly. Everybody was great to get along with. All right. So, we are now on Maynard Street. We're going to walk over to North Street because North Street is where I'm going to catch my, my bus to get back home. Oh, there it is. Okay. I didn't, I don't know if it was on before or not. I just looked down and I couldn't find the little icon that shows me that my video's on. Was counting it off. So if I missed a little bit, it shouldn't be too bad, but it's going there now. And I didn't see it going when I looked at that screen, but I might've missed it because it was in an unusual place. Somehow it moved around. It wasn't the bottom of my screen. You gotta watch these things because sometimes they'll turn off on you. Do weird things like that. So this is gonna be closed here. I'm gonna have to walk up this way because it's a big construction job right here. And I'm not allowed to walk up through that way because it's closed. So that's okay. I don't mind. So that's what's been a, a great walk around this neighborhood today. You learned a lot of what it's like here. As you walk along, it changes a little bit from block to block. And I'm picking up wind once I came around that corner, but hopefully I can shelter it with my hand um, until we get out of it again. Okay, so there's James Street. We'll go back over to Agricola, I guess, because you can't take this block here since it's under construction. Lots of construction going on right now in Halifax. Look, there's a nice little parking lot if you're looking for a place to park. Six dollars a day, public parking, daily rate six dollars. You can't beat that, that's a good, that's a good deal, six dollars a day for parking all day in the North End. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my screen. I looked down there and it didn't look like it was on, but Hopefully it was. Hopefully we didn't miss too much. Maybe we didn't miss anything. It's hard to say. I'm not sure. This video will soon be coming to a close. I'm gonna get over here on the corner and I'm gonna end this video. For today, I hope you're enjoying this walk around this uh, neighborhood. There's a uh, Big fire truck, aerial three, ladder. Well, we're almost up to North Street, one more block, and we will be at our, where we're gonna end this video.
So I hope you're enjoying our little time together You'll today. Ever, and ever, ever, ever. Some more patios across there. We got like one, two, three, or three or four businesses with patios. And I'm just getting to North Street, where I'm going to end this video. And I hope it all turned out. I hope I didn't lose any. Sometimes these things will happen. I don't know why. They'll just turn off. And they'll look down and it's not on. So I don't know. It's not, it wasn't out of space because I erased all my previous videos. So I know that didn't happen. And maybe I just couldn't see it because it wasn't where I thought it was. And it moves, and there's a little little box that comes on the screen, and it tells you that you're recording and how many minutes you're at and all this stuff. Well, if you look down and don't see it, that means your video's turned off. Sometimes that happens, and then you look down, they don't see it, and you gotta stop because you know something's wrong. Well, here I am in the, back to North Street. We are going to end this video in the heart of the North End. North Street and Agricola. Gosser's Pub right on that corner, and Chain Yard over there. Middle Eastern food, groceries right here. And that way, we'll take you down to the McDonald Bridge. Okay, so with that, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, you can push that like button. I'd love that if you do that. And if you're not yet a subscriber, if you became a subscriber, that would really help me a lot. And if you are a subscriber, I want to say thanks to all my subscribers and all the viewers and all the people who make comments. That's great. That's what keeps this thing going. And with that, I want to say have a wonderful day. Take care. Be safe. And we'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now.